An organization calling itself the Voluntary Civil Society Task Force on Implementation of the Peace Agreement 2015 has called a workshop and have invited representatives from different departments of the military. They say that they recognize the critical role the military has in promoting peace, stability, and protection of the civil population in South Sudan. Speaking on the sidelines of the workshop, the Director of Moral Orientation at the SPLA headquarters called for mutual trust between the army and civilians. This workshop will show the people of South Sudan that the SPLA is have a responsibility it has a responsibility on the civilian. As I said before that the army were a civilian first, they were coming from the civilian and they work until they will return to the civilian. So they should have a good relationship with the civilians because it is where they originated from and the, the place we, we will they, they will return to. The workshop is being conducted under the theme Confidence and Trust Building Between the Army and Civil Population and an official of the task force explained this. Today's workshop is organized by the Voluntary Civil Society Task Force on implementation of the agreement but specifically for the institution of the military. So in, in this workshop we are having representatives from different institutions within the army. The intention of the workshop, the, the theme of the workshop is to enhance the relationship between the, the institution of military and the civil population. And we're doing that because we feel that it's our civic, civic ob obligation as citizens of this country to be able to build the institutions that we have, but most importantly, to also look into the concerns of the security concerns of the civil population and the civil society actors in this country. So today's meeting will look into the relationship, the perception, the citizen perception of the institution, but also the perception of the institution about their relationship with the citizens. We'll be looking at what we can do as citizens of this country to enhance that relationship and also enhance the capacity. But finally, you realize that we are now implementing the agreement as South Sudan as a nation, and that implementation is very important. Not unless we all understand the provisions of the agreement, it will be difficult to implement. So later we'll be unpacking the agreement and be able to understand how the civil society and other stakeholders can link their responsibility to the institution of the military. The Voluntary Task Force on Implementation of the August Agreement 2015 is a coalition of over 20 civil society organizations who came together so that they can monitor the implementation of the peace agreement and participate in the implementation of the country's peace agreement.